ASL, like any of the other languages we teach in the department, satisfies the BA requirement, the MA requirement, and also the admissions requirement for the university. Starting in about 2011, we started seeing a significant increase in the number of students that were taking the ASL. It's the third largest enrolled language in our department, which is huge for us. More and more people are learning ASL because many high schools, colleges and universities recognize ASL as a foreign language. I think it's popular in universities all over. I think a lot of high schools are starting to teach ASL as well. But um, PSU seems to be specifically anomalous. We have a very strong speech and hearing program. And PSU does a really good job of explaining not just ASL and teaching that, but the culture of the uh, deaf community. Learning a new language is difficult. It requires a lot of work, a lot of practice. I think that some students come into ASL thinking it's going to be an easy language because it's, it's American Sign Language, so it's based off of English. And in fact, I think they're in for a little bit of a surprise. It's got its own lexicon, it's got its own syntax. And ASL has you get out of yourself much more than another foreign language. With ASL here, we give students a lot of practice. We are sad and in the classroom. One of the things that we're looking forward to in the next year is having an ASL minor approved. And this is a big deal for our department. Um, this will allow students of any major um, to come here and have a secondary specialization in ASL. So in colleges, universities such as Poland State University, students understand that if they have skills with communicating with the deaf, by learning ASL, we can open doors. In the go. If you can sign, it may be an advantage for you.